Please subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos. Hello, this is Salvio, and in this video I'll explain how to use the equivalent con method, which I developed as part of my master's studies under the supervision of Dr. Serra Gunner. The equivalent con method is a new method that allows anchors in the concrete to be modeled using two defined element models only, instead of three defined element models, which are more complex and time consuming. The issue with two defined element models is that the thickness of the concrete has to be defined, and all the stresses and strains in the concrete are assumed to be constant throughout the thickness. However, in practice, when anchors fail in concrete breakout, which is one of the main field modes, the concrete cracks in a 3D conical shape, as you can see here on the left of the figure as the 3D breakout surface. In 2D models, the shape will be a trapezoidal, since all the stresses and strains are assumed to be constant, and therefore, the cracking areas of the concrete that are able to resist the load will be different, and the load capacity prediction in the finite element model will be wrong. To fix that and obtain an accurate load prediction, we can calculate an equivalent thickness to be used in the 2D model. And that's what this method does. For more details on how the method was developed, you can see my thesis entitled Modeling of Concrete Anchors Support Non-Structural Components Subject to Strong Wind and Adverse Environmental Conditions. I'll leave the link in the description below. The development of the method can be seen in Chapter 5. For more information, you can also see the paper that we are going to submit to engineering structures named A Methodology for the Analysis of Adhesive Anchors in Adverse Environments for Hurricane Resilience. The link of the paper will also be in the description once it's submitted. In section 2.2 here, I describe the equivalent con method, what are the assumptions or premises, how it was verified, and other formulation behind the method, as well as the verification. Both the links for the thesis and the paper can be found in Dr. Serhan Gunner's website at the University of Toledo. So to use the method, we need to follow the six steps. However, three of them are automatically done by Excel um, in this spreadsheet that I developed to facilitate the use of the method. In step one, we need to create and run a two defined element model of the anchor, giving an initial estimated thickness for the concrete equal to three times the anchor embedment depth. This initial estimated thickness can be something else However, three times the embedment depth is shown to work very well. So in step one, we need to input the base of the anchor, which is equal to the correct base of the concrete, as well as the anchor embedment depth, which is the distance you see here in the figure. And the initial thickness is already calculated as three times the anchor embedment depth. Then you run the fine element, and we need to extract some correct information from the results. These are the cracking angle, and the vertical crack extent. So in the examples tab, I have the results of some fine element analysis that I ran as examples. And here you can see the angle cracking, which is the angle between the crack and the horizontal, which is input here in step two, as well as the vertical crack extent, which is also input here in step two. So once you input this in steps three, four, and five, we need to calculate the um, cone surface area, the trapezoidal surface area, and the equivalent thickness that will equal these areas. These three steps are performed automatically by Excel. So after step two, you can go ahead to step five and extract the equivalent thickness here. Then in the final step, you update the concrete thickness in your fine element model to the equivalent thickness given here and run the analysis again. Once you rerun this analysis, you should obtain the accurate prediction of the concrete breakout load capacity of the anchor. So this is how you use the method. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you understand the method and you can use it in the future. Thanks for watching.